what was your first like major investment outside of music? Mm. Like what developed? Cause you had like gas stations and all mm. kinds of shit. So what piqued your interest as like an entrepreneur or like from a business investment perspective early on? For me, real estate. Okay. Being from the what south. What was your first big purchase in real estate? Did you go residential or commercial? Uh, I went residential first. I, I okay. brought I brought my mom and my grandmother house. Okay. Then I brought a building on Canal Street. Commercial. In New Orleans, commercial. Okay. How so, big? Big. No, no other African American had a building on Canal Street. What do you mean? Orleans. Like how many? How many square feet? How many floors? <sighs> mm, that building before Hurricane Katrina is probably was big as a school. Okay. Okay. Like what? Hundred thousand square feet? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. One level. Two levels. Uh, five levels. Five levels. Okay, okay. I'm picking uh, up what you're putting down. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Downtown Canal Street, you say? Uh, for a man from the project. All right, yeah. For a man yeah, from the project. Yeah, let a motherfucker know you're swinging a big stick in the city. You yeah. dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so that was, so, okay, you went from that to what? Just uh, buying all kind of houses and, you know, being a part of knowing that I could make money doing this. Right. How I got started in real estate was I didn't have much money, but I had a lot of time. So what I did is I did exactly what Master P is saying, which is thinking outside of the box. Too often we get confined in like, this is how it has to get done. This is the only way to be successful. This is the only way to create money in real estate. This is the only way you can get financial freedom. But we have to break the mold, break the box, and think outside of it and create your own way. And a lot of times I say, hey guys, do not, I'm not asking you to reinvent the wheel, but you can see other ways on how to push the wheel. That makes sense, right? You can use your hand, you can use your foot, you can put a car and have the car actually drive the wheel. There's other ways. And that's what Master P is talking about. He said, think outside the box. Create your own, all right? He also talks about you, there's opportunities all around us, but a lot of times we don't see the opportunities because we're too focused on this. Or we're just, you're too tunnel vision that we don't see the opportunity right here. And what happens is if you're not ready to receive opportunities or blessings, the universe will let them pass you. So you have to be open to seeing new opportunities. Yes, I want you guys to stay focused on your main one. My main thing is real estate. I love it. But I had to think outside the box on how I'm going to get clients, how am I going to push my brand. And I was like, hey, let's try YouTube. Let's try doing more videos. Now we're at one of over 1,000 subscribers. I never thought I would have that many people following me. So that is me thinking outside the box. Now we're thinking, okay, let's see opportunities. What other opportunities can we do? Hey, there's this new thing called TikTok. What the heck is that? I thought it was just for people dancing. But what I did, I decided to give it a chance. And now I'm at over 21,000 followers on TikTok. And it's because I decided to think outside the box and see new opportunities in front of me, but I'm still focused on my main goal, which is real estate and helping you get a house, helping you break generational curse, helping you create passive money and income through tenants, through real estate, through Airbnbs, through everything. And I'm showing you guys what I'm doing. I'm giving you guys my blueprint. So it's no excuses on why you cannot be successful. And I want you to understand that. Focus on your main goal, focus on your tax, your tax, focus on your task, but find the opportunities, see them when they come. And not all opportunities are good, but if you have a whole bunch of opportunities coming, you can push that aside, no, that, that. And then you pick the good ones, the best ones, the ones that you really resonate, something in your core with. And that's what Master P did. He was like, hey, I'm buying land, I'm buying houses around this area, this would be a great area. There's a highway there. There's things coming. If someone decides to build a mall or something here, this land is going to be worth so much money. I see an opportunity here. Now, my main field is rap, and I'm now starting to get into real estate and get into businesses, but I think I can do something here. You know what? Let me make this investment in myself because I see an opportunity that other people don't see. So other people are letting it pass by. Other people might be laughing at me, like, oh, why are you buying that? That's not going to give you no money, but I'm going to do it. And what did he do? He bought it. He held it for 10 years, guys. I wanna, I'm going to repeat that. He held it for 10 years. 
You over there are complaining that you're not successful, or your music isn't doing good, or your business is not creating enough income, and you only been working for two years, and you're not even working hard. You're working half time. You are a part time worker. You are a part time worker on your business and working full time on someone else's dreams, and you're wondering why you're not successful. He worked. He held it for ten years. Ten years he let his money sit in this real estate land before he decided to sell it because what happened? His vision was seen by someone else who wanted to build on that land. And what they had to do? They had to buy my man out. Then Master P said, show me the money. You want to build on this land. My land is there. Show me how much are you going to pay me. How much are you going to pay me? He more than a hundred times his, his investment. Yes. Cash money. And why was that possible? Because he saw an opportunity that we missed, that all of us missed, other people missed. And I don't want that to happen to you. So stay focused on your main goal, but be aware of the new opportunities that could come. And when you see it, take it. And then the, the biggest point of this, this video, the message I want you to get is, it took 10 years. 10 years he worked and grinded and held that. He still kept working on his vision. He still kept working on his other businesses. He still kept buying on more real estate. So do not worry about you not being as successful as you want. Do not worry about you not seeing the income goals that you want. Do not worry about not having the material success that you want, that you feel you need to get validated. It's coming. Just keep grinding, keep working on you, and it will come. Trust me on this. Trust the process as my friend, my big bro, uh, I don't know his Instagram thing. Sorry, Marshall, I tried to give you a shout out, but I didn't remember your Instagram. So, <laughs> trust the process. That's it. That's the message. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe. If you're interested in learning more about real estate or mortgages, check out the other videos on my channel.